Hello everyone, it's Eddie the Chump coming back with another video. Um, this is a video response to a video that I watched of one of my favourite commentators, um, Blame Truth. He posted a video uh, with a Beast MP5 gameplay and discussion about uh, the, how Ghost is going to work in Black Ops 2 and stealth perks in general. And this is a bit of a hot topic for me as um, subscribers may know, but I just wanted to clarify my thoughts in response to him in a, you know, in a thoughtful way. Okay, so a lot of big YouTubers, especially those that rush, that have a rushing style, make the argument that the game would be better off without stealth perks, things like Assassin, things like Ghost. Now, I don't agree with that. And I'm someone who doesn't have a defensive game style. I'm someone that rushes quite a lot. I wouldn't say it's rushing, but it's, it's definitely a flanking style. I'm moving all the time trying to get behind people. Now, as you can imagine, things like motion sensors and UAVs, especially say in a game type in a game like Modern Warfare 3 um, with support kill streaks and the amount of spamming of UAVs that goes on perks like assassin are kind of vital for moving around the map and getting behind people um, I find this game Modern Warfare 3 I'm talking about specifically here kind of difficult to play um, with an assault rifle if I'm not using specialist um, just because people don't tend to move that much play quite defensively uh, UAV haul you and sound haul you with SITREP Pro on motion sensors and stuff like that um, and those are the better people so a perk like Assassin is absolutely necessary as far as I'm concerned for getting behind these people and breaking the kind of map control that they generally try and assert I think that's the main point is that although stealth perks irritate good players well, well in bunny ears good players um, they're kind of necessary and the there's a two prongs to this argument. Uh, the, there is an argument that says that stealth perks uh, are campers' tools, right? Uh, I just want to make it very plain. These are my thoughts about campers. Camping is not caused by stealth perks, okay? Camping is caused uh, by the fact that the COD community is extremely diverse, both in terms of age and skill level. Okay, and inclination. Some people want to run around and kill people. Some people like the technique of shooting people from far away. Some people like sniping, etc., etc. So, in that diverse community, there's going to be a very large skill gap between the very best players with the best reactions, the best accuracy, the best decision making, and the very worst players. Now, though, those very worst players have also paid sixty dollars or forty-five quid. Okay, they've also paid for elite. So, you know, some of them. So they've, they've contributed to the funding of COD, basically, and they deserve to have a game that they are also able to enjoy. Now, it's frustrating to good players. I'm not going to lie. I rage at people who sit in a dark corner, let's say, like on Black Ops 1, with Ghost and a silenced... It seems to be a silenced Galil. The silenced Famous has disappeared. It's the silenced Galil Ghost Ninja sleight of hand setup that's the kind of cliche, especially in game types like TDM that is so irritating to me but I think you'll we lose a bit of perspective when we say that they should be taken out of the game now as far as Black Ops 2 and the theoretical implementation of what Ghost is going to be is that it's active when you're moving suits me perfectly fine because that's exactly why I would use it and it's perfectly fair I think to say that it that's the way it should work. It shouldn't, you, it shouldn't help you sit in a corner. You don't need any help. Um, the fact of the matter is, is if you're sitting in a corner waiting for people to walk past, you're not very good. I don't care what Wings of Redemption says. I'm sub to Wings of Redemption. I watch his videos. But I don't necessarily, like, I don't find his gameplay necessarily that exciting. I, it's kind of weird. It's a weird fascination. It's totally different to the way I play, so it's kind of interesting for me on that level. And that's not trying to be patronising, it's just the truth. But he is not as good as someone like Ronaldinho. He is not as good as someone like Optic Scumpy, and they don't camp. Like, when they play pub matches, that's not how they play. They get in people's faces, they get in spawns, they dominate <laughs> with their quite superior connections, or and their quite superior skill. And that's exciting to me. I like watching that sort of gameplay. And that's the way that YouTube has changed Call of Duty. That's, way, that's the style that's dominant at the moment, whereas before, when COD 4 started out, then, you know, Wings of Redemption was seen as, a, as an example of what a good player was. It's obviously moved on since then. But... I uh, lost my train of thought. Anyway, yeah, Black Ops 2 and Ghost. It's it's fine how they're going to do it. I just 
I just feel that when you say, oh, there's a style of gaming that I don't necessarily like, um, that it should be gone from the game, that's, it's not short-sighted, and I don't want to be insulting, but it's kind of, it's inconsiderate. It's not taking, it's not being objective, if that's even possible. You're just kind of seeing things from your own point of view and going, I want the game to, be, to benefit my play style which means that I can dominate and get huge scores all the time because I, I, I find getting huge scores fun, therefore I want to do it all the time, which is kind of, you know, I, I can totally understand it. That's exactly what I'm like. I do, obviously I love it when I do well um, and I get frustrated when I don't. But the, the, the simple fact of the matter is, is that they've paid for the game too. And no matter how much it's frustrating, you have to kind of respect that. Now... I think that that's why Infinity War did so many of the things that they do, which are obviously, obviously stupid. Like Dead Man's Hand, Final Stand. The whole concept of Death Streaks in the first place rewards bad players. It doesn't reward, it doesn't teach you to get better. Now that's obviously a bad design choice. Now, it's, you know, I've been playing a lot of PC games recently because obviously I get bored of just playing Call of Duty on the console because it's intensely frustrating and I'm a bit bored of Black Ops 1 so I can't just keep going back and forth. So I've been playing games like Blacklight, right, which is a free to play PC shooter and it's excellent. Now they have a mechanic in that called the HRV which is basically like a wall, uh, a wall glitch basically so you can see through walls and you can see where people are. Now they do have a piece of equipment in that game which is deployable which shields you from the HRV which basically means that camping is kind of okay, but you never ever see it. You just don't see it because it's kind of pointless. The KDs in that game are so much more even than they are in COD. Like people finish, you know, I'm 30 and 0. Like you, would, you don't really see that. And it's because of that mechanic, which renders camping pointless. Now, PC gaming does have its own problems, it's problematic elements. Like instead of campers, you don't really get it. Even on games like COD 4, even Call of Duty, you don't get it on PC really. But you do get like cheaters, <laughs> people who use head glitches. So I'd, not head glitches, like mods to make sure that they hit you in the head. So we've got to decide which is worse. You know, I know which one I think is worse. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, yeah, please like and subscribe. Go to my channel, check it out. Um, help it grow. Cheers.